Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do uh, your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see what's going on for the Aquarius. What's happening for Aquarius? What do you want to look? Okay, the Knight of Cups. Some of you getting like psychic downloads. Knight of Cups here. Some of you are in love, or someone's in love with you. This has been a battle, an uphill battle. You don't trust this person or this relationship. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. Every time you deal with this particular person, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I don't know. Scorpio coming up heavy here. Um, you always end up like destabilizing. Like your emotions are all over the place. You you question yourself. You question your self worth. It just has you. It, this relationship will have you in a place of, you know, just uh, instability emotionally. Therefore. Um, I don't know you, you kind of you just are unsure about this person also we've got a queen and then a knight it's like somebody is is not mature enough hasn't evolved enough uh, somebody likes being in love falling in love but maintaining a relationship not so much this is also a person who has just unrealistic expectations when it comes to love you know they 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 fallen into the fairy tale of what love is and, and and possibly that's why it doesn't last this is also somebody who's still out there still dating still taking numbers still wanting to meet people again they like the newness this might not this might be somebody who just doesn't finish you know they don't finish anything there's no ending with them there's just new starts they could be promiscuous it also could be that, you know, this person is trying to make you fall in love with them again, or they want you to fall in love with them again. I'm hearing again. Hmm. Justice card. Yeah, somebody wants to maybe offer um, an apology. Yeah, they want to offer an apology. They want to make something right. It's about making something right, knowing that you have to make a decision. You have to do the right thing also in the justice card. It's like not letting a decision be swayed by beauty or money or any, you know, material or worldly possession or anything that's superficial. It's just about, you know, law, order, what is right. And it's like maybe this person treated you unfairly too. This could be you too, Aquarius, you know, cross watchers, switch it if you need to. Um... There could be somebody here with Libra in their chart, or this isn't Libra. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Yeah, we got the star card coming up. So that is you. So I'm just reading these cards. These are the occult deck. We've got 33. You could be a master or under a master number, maybe life path here, or you could be 33 or something of that nature. Um, star card here. It's like definitely if somebody needs to learn how to express their emotions. Also, this is releasing baggage from past relationships, things that you have carried with you. Therefore, it's about getting on the right path. It's also about the unexpected because um, something could have happened unexpected in the relationship where it just kind of fell down. I heard it faltered. So it was like a, uh, you know, uh, maybe like a tumbling, uh, almost in slow motion. It was like you knew that something was ending. It was faltering. I don't know. Um, and now you, you, you know, after the rubble, you're going to get on the right path here with the star card. You're going to regain something or rebuild or heal. Maybe even renew something. Uh, it could even be the faith within yourself. I don't know if it's in this relationship. There's somebody here who could be asking for forgiveness. Comp they want you to deal with them compassionately. Let's see. 
the five of wands so this person stirred up mixed emotions feelings this was a i heard a drama king drama queen this is somebody who had other options this is somebody who wanted to engage in a love affair not a real you know a relationship or anything serious but a love affair you know it was just it just is right this was somebody who was up for you know they like the competition they like a lot of energy surrounding them with the five of wands could be you could be the other person what is the five of wands the queen of pentacles out of all the choices somebody sees that you are um the number one choice number one pick uh they're seeing your worth that you're worthy that you you are you know the uh a good you would be a good choice of wife or husband if you're a man or we've got two queens here it could be same sex um but also this could be an energy of both of you are doing stuff you know so your person or you wherever the masculine energy lies this person did not bring into how can you say this how can i say this? so with the two queens here we got doers right but it's supposed to be the yin and the yang you know a king and a queen the king offers a place for the queen to be a queen to be abundant uh to nurture to maintain but you got two people who showing up as queens so we got like a lot of fighting a lot of arguing a lot of bickering somebody didn't show up in their masculine energy somebody did not offer a relationship a place for the queen to be the queen therefore there was a lot of bickering with the five of wands there was a lot of competition or it was a lot of uh, fighting for not even knowing what you're fighting for uh, fighting for the relationship fighting for someone's attention you don't know where you're gonna get at the end of this road because it just seems as if it was um like i said somebody just wanted to engage in a love affair um and not have anything real and stable so you had somebody here who just wasn't offering you what maybe they should have been offering you or this is what you were doing aquarius i don't know they didn't make it comfortable in this relationship you always you might have been questioning yourself a lot where you stood with them or there are other women or there are other men um yeah five of pentacles yeah it's like a temporary situation or you always felt like it was going to fall apart you got two five showing up here um this person at times or you would ignore the other person you would put them in a place of just destitution feeling hopeless like where is this going you know why am i being cast out or shunned but keep in mind that the fives are temporary so it's like as when this person will put you down they will pick somebody else up and then they get tired with them put them down and then come pick you up again you know so it's like this person the fives are about you know childishness and games you know childish behavior so this was somebody here who was very reckless childish with your heart careless with the relationship it didn't even offer the opportunity for you to show up in the best capacity that maybe you could have shown up in but they didn't even offer it this is somebody here who would you know throw the rock behind their hand and also you know say that you were the immature one or that you this was a person who gaslit you this was a person who um, they knew what they were doing they you know um they were still playing you know and may, i think one of you was taking this serious what do we have for aquarius nine of pentacles so it's just best for you to remain single nine of pentacles you may even be kind of closed down to love the nine of pentacles is not the best card for like um starting a love relationship because this is someone who is on like their heart chakra might be closed they, they're keeping people outside of their home or their heart space they just you know they're putting the hands up like you know you know it's 
it's good knowing you and seeing you when I'm going home or you just there's no intimacy and it's not about sex it's about vulnerability and closeness you know the nine of pentacles somebody doesn't want that and it might be due to lack of trust and also having everything that you need somebody also oh i get a, so, so i don't know you're somebody in this reading whomever you're somebody is may have saw you as a nine of pentacles you know like look the perfect person the perfect mate especially coming up with the queen of pentacles right but in that energy they saw you like not wanting for anything not needing anything not knowing where they fit with you or in your life therefore they kind of got in where they could fit in and if it was just sex and fun and hanging out then it was just that it was just more so they treated you like the person that didn't need anything even when maybe at times you felt like you wanted to be maybe doted on or taken care of or you wanted to kind of shed the tough exterior this is also this person may have looked at you as like okay well this person is very independent and self-sufficient and all they can really offer me is sex and i can offer them sex so it's an even exchange someone could have looked at you as a single mom you know a working a working mom like okay this is i'm your relief i don't know what is this about for aquarius yeah two of wands they had you as an option they were going you know in between back and forth with you and somebody else or something else it could have been a lifestyle like they come to you and do the relationship thing and then um they go back to the streets you know and they bounce back and forth or it could have been that they have another person they have another option and they just kind of you know always uh was playing the middle playing both sides basically um what is the advice for aquarius clothing advice for aquarius oh do we have, oh, okay so we're gonna do money let's see And then we'll get the advice the same okay what are the money messages for aquarius money career finance all right the empress very nice started something new new job new business just newness altogether could even be embarking on like some creative endeavor like something that you create something that you know um this could even be singing dancing beauty fashion um you could be getting ready for a show you could be getting ready um you do a lot of appearances is what i'm here whatever this is it's 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 good um you're having fun at it and with it um it's just the the start of something great for you what do we have for career and finance uh, the hangman so or your perspective change okay so it's like you're waiting for something to change here some sacrifice needing to be made so you might have to get rid of something you may have to look at something from a different perspective um what what is the aquarius sacrifice and what are they leaving what are they needing to look at differently um the ten of cups so family life working with family working with a group uh, masculine energy helping you um moving with family living with family i have to look at something from a different perspective here it might i heard it might be just a little more waiting um let's see what else do we have for aquarius aquarius career and finance okay so the ace of wands in the moon card okay so take action because it's something the universe could be working something out for you what you don't see you need to change your, your way of thinking about something if you want something to come to fruition bring into institution just do all that you can do because you have forces working on the other side to help you to really 
help you bring you know to life your dreams um stay hopeful and prayerful um be motivated okay um, don't fall into an emotional state maybe even depression about what isn't happening or how it's not happening fast enough yeah the queen of wands because it looks like some of you can be doing some energy work maybe around the full moon okay get your um amethyst and your um your obsidian bracelets um, they're on the website i will link that i tell you i have so what i did is um these bracelets have been prayed over for seven days seven nights um just wearing these bracelets just feeling so much better uh especially if you're trying to heal from something especially if you want protection um from anything from maybe even you know negative mind state whatever it may be get your bracelets they're affordable uh fashionable get your bracelets um i it, you know i wouldn't um it's been an experience you know it has been an experience uh with with these bracelets so take advantage um there'll be a special offer i'm gonna put something together for you guys for whomever buys the bracelet so anyhow back to this um it looks like the universe wants you to raise your vibration especially when it comes to maybe some entrepreneurial endeavors maybe even getting into your life purpose you may have been hiding from something or lying to yourself about what you should be doing or you're getting some downloads your dreams are very very vivid you need to start writing them down it's like the universe is trying to speak to you this is a time out for you so that you can redirect or repurpose is what i redirect repurpose your life in some fashion so that you can get on the right path I'm just yeah the seven of swords you might need to keep your plans to yourself right now uh the seven of swords stay undetected in whatever it is you're trying to do or bring to fruition and then also um you might need to revise some plans you may have you thought it was going to go this way and you're going to do that and so forth but you might just need to go back to the drawing board yeah because success is here especially in a new business if you have one the six of wands and the eight of pentacles you've been working very hard at something and you're going to get, reap the rewards be prudent with your money where you put it how you spend it um there is a continuous cycle where you know it's coming in and it's coming in because some, you're doing the work something is working you're going to get a lot of people maybe even um praising you reaching out to you a promotion uh public recognition of something because you just kept at it you kept doing it your work ethic is impeccable just keep that up especially if you know that you know this is what you've been doing something around the clock is what i'm getting rewards are coming in a timely fashion the most opportune time for you yeah wow at the bottom of the deck we have the eight of wands it looks like life is going to go at a fast pace it says obstacles will be removed this is really good it's going to be prime opportunity opportune time for you to take some action so that's good it just looks like you just need to recalibrate you might be all over the place or questioning your purpose or what you should be doing so let's get you some advice for love where are we 19 minutes okay okay advice for love what's the advice for aquarius pertaining to love let's see advice for aquarius pertaining to love let's see the three of wands what you've been hoping and wishing for is going to come to fruition okay keep the faith what you've been communicating to the universe is coming to you you're expecting it there will be expansion things will grow either with i don't know if this is with a particular person let's see what is the advice for love here 
Looks like some of you women are going to get like a love offer. It could be, you know, from the past or the future. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Okay, so you got two Wands cards. Something's going to happen quick. I don't know if somebody's going to take action towards you. This looks like somebody knows that something is fleeting or it's leaving them. So maybe they know they need to take some quick, fast action. Let's see. What is the advice for love for Aquarius? The four of pentacles. Yeah, I don't know. This could be like a, a toxic or stuck, stagnant relationship. Somebody's trying to get you back in the box. You got out of the box, jumped out of the box, and then you're waiting for something real, something new, and they're trying to pull you back into the box here, the Four of Pentacles box. Um, they may come on strong. They look at you as a possession, you know? Um, they look at you as, you know, something that they can dominate. Yeah. They could want you back with the high priestess showing up because you're not giving them the time of day. You're not talking to them. You're not focused on them. Um, you're quiet. You're, you're in the background. You're in the very forefront of their mind, though, with the high priestess showing up. You're showing up as desirable. You are the woman. Because this is talking about a woman here. Sorry, man. Um, this is a woman who is... Um, or this is a feminine energy because it could be same sex, right? It's a feminine energy. If you're showing up as a high priestess or your person is looking at you as a high priestess, Aquarius, then you are the woman above all other women. You know, there's like a natural sex appeal to you. This person is drawn to you. Wow, the empress. It's like they want to make something real with you. I don't know if they want you to be their girlfriend. We go, it's like something Aquarius. It's like gestation phase, pregnant, and then birth. I don't know if they're, what's the advice here? What is, what is the high priestess and the empress? Page of Wands, okay. So this person wants to make up with you. They may be coming to you. Um, yeah, they, they'll be coming to you, trying to make up with you. Uh, it could be all of a sudden, or they could be trying to feel you out. You could come around, you know, maybe this spring, late spring. I don't know, Aquarius. It just seems as if we have an energy of... Um, you you withdrew okay you took your power back someone sees that you're happy or that you will be happy or that you are marriage material and they want to come back in as a page and pull you back in or this is what you want to do to someone else you had a ten of wands This could be karmic or it was a karmic situation. It was karmic because this person had no intentions for you, but then they ended up liking you or loving you. If I have a pentacles in the tower, so. Okay. All right, so Aquarius, so lastly, what should Aquarius do before I explain those two cards? What should Aquarius do? Okay. Um, all right. So, okay. So just starting off, this is going to be a long time coming <laughs> okay this is not going to be an overnight thing for you and this particular person that you come to the reading for um because the, the cards read as if you withdrew your energy from this person because they were not giving you what you deserved or what you feel like um you didn't sign up for this um so you you left or it was mutual but anyway there's an an energy of separation 
And in that separation, we have that same game player, five of pentacles in the tower. We have that person, you know, um, in your absence, they, they feel the void. And all of a sudden, these emotions just erupt within them. They may even have like a breakdown, like an emotional breakdown, like they're realizing that you were their true happiness or that you were the one or that they fumble the relationship altogether. Somebody made it hard to be in this relationship and this connection because somebody was too, too playful, too active, either with you, other people, or all together. They didn't ground the energy. In this reading, we only have the five of pentacles coming up, you know, as a grounding energy. And that's, that's the five of pentacles. So it's like... Yeah, this relationship just wasn't grounded in anything. I think Aquarius or the other person just got tired of just showing up for a relationship and not knowing where it was going with the Ten of Wands. Just like, okay, I'm here again. And what are we doing? Oh, I don't know. You know, another day, just counting the days almost, marking it off on the calendar. Like, what are we doing? Where is this going? Because it was going nowhere fast. Because again, this person didn't have any intentions for you when they first met you. They, they didn't intend to like you so much or even love you. And now with you withdrawing your energy, it just seems as if they want everything with you. But they there are no offers here on the table. I don't see any. Um, it's just a want. You know, it's, it's almost like somebody just wanting to have access to you. This could even be that you have to learn some lesson with the seven of pentacles coming up at the bottom of the deck. In that lesson, you may have to learn that maybe this was just, this person was the lesson, you know? I don't know, because for some of you, you're going to see what was illuminated. Something's going to be illuminated to you. Somebody held you in the dark about some children, about their past. I heard sexual deviancy. Oh my God. Um, with a family or a family member or something. Something's going to be made known to you. Somebody has their own issue. Okay. They have their own issues. And. It's really nothing you can do. To get in the way of that. Or to fix that. Or I don't know. They have their own issues. They may can't even, they can't even like be with you and be in a relationship with you because they haven't dealt with these issues. This person is extremely immature in terms of a relationship. They may have it all together on paper, you know, good job or whatever and, you know, cars and this and that, but they're extremely immature when it comes to real relationships. Therefore, they don't have those. They have, you know... They have one night stands, they have fun, they have friends that they see that they go in and out of in their lives. And this is what they were doing with you. But they didn't expect to have such, you know, um, a likeness or a take a liking to you or maybe even love you. This is another separation that you guys are going through. The seven of pentacles. You guys can be separated up to six months or maybe it's nearing six months. It could be six to nine months. That you guys are separated because inside of the both of you you need to birth something new the seven of pentacles can sometimes indicate pregnancy now i don't know somebody could be pregnant or this is more so um you both need to get pregnant with something else to bring to life because what you guys are manifesting with one another is karmic toxic and drama field this person could then come back and realize that you're the one. But I don't know what they'll do with that information. Let's see. Let's close this out with an enchanted map oracle card. Let's see. What's the enchanted map oracle card for love for the Aquarius? 40. So we've got follow the leader. If you can see that. 
Okay, so I don't know what these cards mean. So we're going to learn them together. Right, let's see. I'm not going to read verbatim. It's going to try to. Every life is a teaching tool for others. Your authentic authentication or authenticity, okay, and honesty are an example of those around you. Okay, you're being called to lead others by example. Okay, it's something inside of you. You have to show it. And I think we this was more so in terms of when we pull cards for a career in finance and it talked about life purpose you have something that you need to show others also there's a uniqueness about you this could also go for love too you could have met this person because you both have something to share with one another and you have something um maybe in terms of wisdom to share with this other person Everything that you've been through is putting you in a place to or in a position to be in service to others. So if you if you've had a if you had a squeaky clean life where nothing bad ever happened, nothing challenging, what kind of story would you be able to give other people? What kind of testimony? What kind of help? What kind of advice? What kind of advisement would you offer? Probably none right because nothing's ever happened to you nothing but good um so what the this card is saying that even in this relationship even if it was bad it's just it just adds to the experience that you now have to share um with other people and that experience is also going to be uh articulated as wisdom so you're going to share your wisdom with other people some relationship here this relationship could have prompted you to your spiritual journey to you know questioning why i met this person and why i feel these deep feelings and you may have even stumbled on the tarot and maybe you found answers that way i don't know but this you know relationship situationship whatever it may have been pushed you or propelled you into a place of understanding that this didn't happen for no reason um it's it's all a part of a greater uh cause um and it builds your character too so follow the leader because it looks like life is leading you somewhere all right i'm gonna leave you with uh two angel answers cards what are the angel answers cards for aquarius okay it needs one to follow yeah <clears throat> listen to your intuition in meditation you're going to find answers it's going to bring you answers that's definitely so true for me in my life right now meditating beautiful let go i think some of you have been holding on too tight to a particular person place or thing and the answer is just a no it's a soft solid no it's not the no in this deck that has the exclamation point so it's not a definite no, but it is no. Because it could be no, not right now. You know, wow. Okay, so it could be within the next few weeks. Um, it's just a no. Should I reach out? No. Should I call them? No. Should I give them another chance? No. Um, should I meet someone new? No. Go somewhere, sit down, heal, meditate, and listen to your intuition. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates for you, let me know how this reading resonates for you down in the comment section. You can go over to the website and get your own personal reading just like this one. Um, and then you can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, ask a question by texting it to the number below. And get your bracelets at the website. Also, if you feel like you need some ex an extra layer of protection, uh, we've got the obsidian uh, bracelet and then we have the amethyst if you just want to get into that more meditative healing uh, state very good bracelet to have so take advantage of that i'm going to link it below um take care aquarius have a really good week